As a child, specifically a young boy, the impact which your father can have on the person that you will grow into is astronomical. One person who truly embodies this issue is Franz Kafka, a sad soul whose father's torment of him would see him waste his life at an office job which he detested whilst living in constant shame of his passion for writing and seeking of his father's approval. Though Franz Kafka now, in the 21st century, is seen as one of the most famous literary figures, but in his day, it was rather opposite. So I was intrigued when I came across a video of Franz Kafka, in which it explained the extraordinarily sad life which he lived, but one which saw him write some highly acclaimed works, perhaps works he would not have made without the sorrow which his father had bestowed upon him. So this inspired me to pick up one of his staple works, The Metamorphosis, as I wanted to see what exactly all of us was about. What I would find in this short piece was the epitome of a person's writing, showcasing the person. In his prose, Kafka shows his insecurities, lack of will, and for me, is a book which shows a man who has lost faith in what life should be, and shows just how sad Kafka's life really must have been. The book follows a man who has turned into a book, causes his family to get into a meltdown, as he, the one's sole provider, can now no longer work, causing the family to have to defend for him and themselves. Kafka reflects his dismal, deepest attitude through work, society and family, showcasing how these all add up to cause a man who is so unwanted and mistreated in life that he becomes an idle bug cast out of the society which had treated him so poorly and he so just. In this video we will break down the life of the man that is Franz Kafka, alongside his writing style and what we can take from Kafka the man and his work. <laughs> Franz Kafka was born in Prague on July 3rd, 1883, to a father who had become well respected for taking a small clothing store and making it a booming business, moving from the working class in Prague to the middle class of the society. He had done so by being an outspoken man who was a big brute, breaking through the problems which Jewish people faced. So when his first child and only son, Franz Kafka, was often a sick child and very weak child, it would anger his father, who showed no affection or love to his son, Robbery was an embarrassment to him. This would see Kafka from a young age gain the affliction of anxiety, something which would linger with him for the rest of his life. His father was such a black hole over Kafka's life that one night when Kafka asked for a glass of water, his father locked him outside on the balcony to freeze for the rest of the night. Though this torture would not end at adulthood, rather Kafka would be so hurt by his childhood that he gained a dependency on his father's position, so much so that when he was going to university, his father in a two week period made Kafka change his studies from the one which he had chosen in chemistry to law, which his father saw as more impressive for the family image. After university, he would have to work for free as a clerk at the local courts to gain experience in a field he did not desire. Though it did not all seem dismal, as when he was finished, he got a job at an Italian insurance firm, which he hoped would mean he could travel to Italy or abroad in order to get away from his family and his dependency on his father. However, his horrible time in Prague would continue as he was stationed in an office job, which he despised. He eventually would leave due to poor conditions and would take a job he would work for the rest of his life at the Worker Accident Insurance interview. What this job offered though, was Kafka to his explorer's writing. He would finish work at the mid-afternoon, so he'd be able to go home and sleep and wake up in the evening to write. This saw Kafka's first masterpiece be developed, Judgment. And that following summer, he would write The Metamorphosis. Not too far after this, he would propose to Felice Brower, a woman who he had only met once before, but had been sending letters to for some time. But just three months after their engagement, it was called off and Kafka would take a big hit. He would give up on the novel America with just a chapter left and wrote In the Imperial Colony and The Trial, two of his most existential and nihilistic pieces. In 1917, the two would be engaged again, but Kafka called it off again and would be diagnosed with tuberculosis. After this, Kafka would try again at love, but after his father detested his engagement, Kafka would eventually fall to his father's wish and dropped his engagement. After this, he would write his famous letter to his father, in which he tried to explain their relationship and how he would like to be closer, but he would end up not giving this letter to his father. After this life of misery and hopelessness, he would move to Berlin and be engaged again, but eventually he gave in to his illness, calling off another engagement and checking in to a sanatorium, where he would spend his last three months. Kafka would die on June 4th, 1924. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Franz Kafka did not gain fame and recognition during his life for his work. Rather, the only response he got was from his first short stories, just as Metamorphosis, one of the only pieces which was published in his time. Even that did not sell amazingly, but was known by intellectuals of Prague. Though this did not see Kafka give up on writing, and is one of the things which makes his work so fascinating. Kafka, the man who was filled with sorrow and anxiety from his lack of love from his father, who burdened his life by making his approval feel more valued than Kafka's own approval, which he could never bestow upon himself, to the society where he was broken through a capitalist society which meant he felt the weight on his shoulders to go to work and fit into the system, and from romance, never managing to find that one true love we all hope for. And yet this man did not give up on his true pride, which was his writing, whether he could see that or not. His magnificent works have made him a literary classic in the German language and English. He's seen one of the most interesting minds of the 20th century, and so fittingly to his story, it came not in his life, but in his death. His work is filled with the remnants of a broken man's soul and cannot figure out what he has done so wrongly to the universe that has had to take so much away from him. We must simply look at his work for Metamorphosis, being one of a man who to me has given up on a life after giving everything that he could and still not being enough. To some of his most dark work in Judgment, where Kafka shows a son caring for his ill father, for that same father to grow well and sentence his son to death by drowning in a river. What is so brilliant and what about Kafka, but so sad too, is that he epitomised writing being an outlet for suffering. He put his literal soul onto the paper and it almost feels wrong to read it. He was not writing fiction, he was writing trauma, real life, and he would never know how praised he would be for it. What we should take from Kafka is that we can find outlets in creative expression, but we must look to find help and make our lives better, instead of to fall to the regime and beliefs that other people want of you. It can be summed up by something my girlfriend said to me the other day, and I've not forgotten since. Why are you going to let other people's thoughts about you affect your happiness? And this is what we should take from Franz Kafka. Do not fall into the trap of caring so badly about what other people think. Though Kafka would not follow this advice and in turn be one of the best literary figures of all time, but that is contrasted with the fact that his life was all too sad.